playing drums and talking about Pretty stuff. Much. I have been painting. I have been growing this crazy COVID hair and moving stuff around. I decided to try painting. So I took yesterday and took everything apart and just painted it. So we'll see how the green thing goes. I'm about to play some James Ingram in a second, which is so smooth. So I'm gonna practice for that thing. These are my green screen films. An old head with green tape. It's kind of cool. To do this, I have to slow my breathing down and I have to listen to where their drummer hit the sear drum and I have to let go and think that without me hitting the stick on the drum at that same time, that drum will not make that sound. And then I lock into where they are because I naturally do not play where a lot of these drummers play. I play back, which is the national way, which is right behind so I actually kind of hear the click every single time I play I can actually hear it in the background uh, a lot of guys don't want it in their monitor so they don't want to hear it because we're all behind it so everybody can hear the click Here's the ring.
sure who the drummer is on this. I bet it's Steve Gab. Or, but goodness gracious, they get to the bridge and that drummer slows the whole groove of that song down about one beat. And right now it's barely coming back and he's slowing it back in at the verse. It's incredible to hear what these guys do. It's not done in music anymore. And it's a drag because I've kind of learned how to do it with a click, but no producer will get on board with it anymore because it would be way too hard to teach people to play in a pocket on the click where you can move the click around in the song, which means the chorus might rush, the bridge might drag, depends on what the song feel is. It really just might. I hear James Ingram just screaming in my ears right now, but it really, uh, it's, it's just done differently. Everything is now played on top, so when they edit, they can just slice everything out. But what I've learned doing these covers is that we're, there's feel, and I try to, I, there, I play a lot of Quincy Jones, I do. I like, I like the way he produced, I like the way he heard things, I like the way he, the clarity in his music, and he left space, and it sounds great. So I've always tried to listen and play along, so I always do better playing along with Quincy Jones because they've taken the time to put the work into making it sound like really, really strong, great music. Every once in a while, the edits are tough. Oh, Quincy, I love your stuff. You are one of my heroes, but man, some of those edits, and I know it had to be because they cut tape back in the day, but some of those edits were strange to play along to because I make mistakes the exact same way three times in a row. That makes me go, huh, something's weird. And then I start listening and I go, oh, I see what they did. And they had to cut a little bit out of the track out. And it was just a sliver of a piece of a razor on a tape. But it's not like now. Everything now is in a line. But people can't rush. People can't drag because they can't cut edit right. Because that would put the kick drum in front of the grid. And that is a pain for the editors. They don't like that. It's just easy to go click, 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 done. Bam. Oh, well, beat detective. That guy can't play. Bam. And all of a sudden, now he can play. <sighs> Tricks. Oh, goodness gracious, I gotta hurry up. I can knock out a few of these. I think, uh, I just got called to get ready to go back to work and plan on just wearing mask and doing my thing. And I'm like, okay. So I'm rushing to get as many of these things done as I can because I got a feeling creativity might be changing. I won't be able to do daily stuff right now. I've got stuff loaded every day in this mid-September. I've been going as hard as I can go putting these things together just to have as much done cause <laughs> oh well it's a drag so life goes back creative I was glad to take this time to create I am I'm very very thankful that I was able to create like this and spend this much time playing music so because I know I got better <laughs> my guitar work is getting absolutely incredibly better. I woke up at five o'clock this morning to come down here and play guitar. And I just liked it. And I sit there and I just worked and I worked on 